the other thing that I think is really cool, let me uh, jump back over here, is maybe I want to create a representation of a view that isn't isometric, it isn't a projection, it's kind of something like, let's just say something kind of like this. I want to show this representation. Well, I don't have that option in my drawing. Well, what you do is you come over here to Named Views, and you'll recognize some of these, top, front, right, and home. I'm gonna right mouse click and say new named view. And I can give it a name. I'll call this Brad ISO because I'm unoriginal. So I just called it Brad ISO. And let's go ahead and save that. Okay. And what that's gonna allow me to do is when I come into my drawing here, it says changes have been made. So let's go ahead and update that. I want to create a representation, so I'm going to say base view. Now watch this orientation. Top, front, right, home, and Brad ISO. And when I do that, I now have that particular direction, that particular angle that I created. So I'm going to say OK, and there's that representation. Um, so I think this is really slick. You're not limited to just the 45 degree isometrics and stuff like that. I can make this shaded. I can do my tangent edges if I wanted to, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you found that useful. Um, so all you have to do is create a custom named view. You can do multiple named views.